What's up golfers, Linksman here. I am going to be showing some demonstrations using the alignment sticks, properly swinging using alignment sticks. Now, these alignment sticks are multiple uses. You can do a lot of different things with them. A lot of people use alignment sticks for exactly what it's called. You line up your feet to the target. The target's the pins right there, so you're using these to kind of line up your feet because basically where your feet go is uh, essentially where the ball goes with your hips. But I actually want to focus on the alignment sticks for a very different reason. All you really need are two alignment sticks. You can get these anywhere, home, um, Roger Dunn's, Amazon, all that stuff. You're going to throw one into your belt buckle, just like this. Make sure that the, there, it helps me because there's a center point here, so make sure that's centered to your belt buckle. And then you're gonna grab this one and I'm gonna demonstrate over here. So what I see when I'm giving lessons in here and when I'm getting lessons from my coach Cortland, I see a lot of different things, but you're gonna put this right here. What happens to a lot of people, especially if you are a slicer, which that's probably the number one thing I fix in here for people. You, as you go back and picture, let me just grab this nine iron here. You want, picture this as your spine. You don't want, as you rotate, you don't want to be falling backwards, falling forward. You want your spine to look just like this. So as I'm rotating, it's staying on this line. Now, what I see all the time, as you rotate backwards, just like this, what happens is these two points never touch on the downswing, and I'll demonstrate what that means. So as I go back, look at that. These aren't even close to touching. What it's supposed to look like is as I go back, the hip one, so you see my hip moving, kind of like dancing around here, have some fun with it, right? So the hip one should start the downswing, followed by the shoulder one, and these should connect at the tip at the impact where the ball is, not back here, not way over here. So just like this, as I go back, hips start, and then dink, and then right there, and I'm fully forward at the target in, in a little bit faster motion, it just looks like this. And you can hear that satisfying noise of the sticks. When I first started doing this, you know, I would constantly do this, they would miss, I, I, I would get frustrated, I could never hear that, that hitting noise. But what I noticed is as I was doing this properly, my swing became much more fluid once you introduce a club in there. So let's see. As I go back, watch, just pay attention to this. So you can kind of see that this starts the downswing. So all the time what I'm focusing on when I actually bring the club is at the top, what my little cue is, I say hips start the downswing. And what I mean by that is that, just as I was demonstrating with the alignment sticks, is as I go back, hips start, followed by that, which creates lag, which creates power, which creates distance. So in fast motion here, and you can kind of hear the sound it makes actually on the turf versus, it's just, it's not as powerful because my shoulders are starting to downswing and when your shoulders start the downswing, it usually produ produces a slice. And I see that all the time. So again, with the alignment stick, if you are a over the top, you'll hear your buddies tell you all the time on the, on the tee box, if you're going over the top and the ball's slicing out right, if you're right-handed, is this. As you go back, you are going over the top, and I'm obviously exaggerating this for the camera here, I don't think anyone's really going that far over, but you're realistically, these are never gonna touch, that's for sure. And you're just kind of fishing your shoulders, so you're turning all shoulders, pretty much zero hip stick. Versus that, look at that, look how much forward that goes and how delayed my shoulder is compared to my hip stick. That's money, look at that. Not this. I don't want your, sh your uh, shoulder stick to start that downswing. Boom. And that's the satisfying noise you hear because it's at the imaginary ball. I'll just pretend there's a ball right there. Go back. And I'm not doing this. I'm not. This, this I see all the time in here at Links when I'm giving lessons is as they rotate back, it's really common, especially if you're new to the game, 
you rotate back and you pull away from the target. So picture that club as my spine angle. I'm way off that, that line here. So I'm going way back, which reduces all your power. Your ball contact is usually a disaster. I usually see people duff the ball because now their swing plane is a mess versus just nice and straight. And another cool thing my coach taught me to kind of put this full circle here, you can do kind of like a little dance. So the way the body moves, so to get into the position, you're about hip distance, a little outside your hips maybe with your, with your irons. But the way the body moves is that I bring my left arm down, my, my left knee bends. Same with my right. And it's just this little fun kind of dance you can do that I have people doing here to loosen them up and have some fun with golf. But as you see that, now I'm going to stop with my arms, keep dancing. But as I swing, look at my knees. And my spine is staying relatively almost perfectly straight as I'm doing this. This is how you properly use your legs, your feet, ankles, all of this stuff down here is just as important as it is up here in, for a proper swing. And as you bring the club in and you watch the pros on the PGA Tour, I mean, their, their feet work, other than probably Scotty Scheffler, I don't know what he's doing, but their feet are moving so much just like that. And you'll always see the back of their heel facing that camera back there on every single swing. Maybe not their wedges when they're just doing short shots, but every single swing, you'll see that. And that's exactly how you kind of combine all of these alignment stick stuff with the proper swing. So I'd highly suggest you guys get two alignment sticks and work on this, not just for lining up your shot, but really use them. These are gonna become your best friend, I can guarantee you. I used to hate these <laughs> until I started using them properly. And sure enough, I noticed a massive, massive difference in my power, my ball striking. I am now um, creating that lag, which you see the pros do, and that lag is called compressing the ball. So I can compress it, it's making a different sound on my irons and my driver. And guess what, I'm getting probably, I don't know, 20 yards more on my clubs. I'm hitting my seven iron close to 200 yards now, which wasn't even close to that before. It was probably like my 160 clubs. That's about a 40 yard difference on my carry distance for my seven iron. My three wood's now going about the distance of my driver. So that's about 250 carry, all using these alignment sticks. So give that a try. Let me know what you think. And I'm really curious if you get power and you stop slicing and all the other stuff I said on the video. So good luck.